Blessed are the poor The kingdom is there Blessed are the meek In all of your Father The word at your right the Spirit of This is uh, Pastor Ronald from Calmwater. Uh, met him right after we come too, back in 1993. January would be our start in our 18th year coming here. And uh, he just sort of spoke some things the other night in church and I just asked him if he'd re maybe if he could remember some of it about uh, what it means to him and his village and the villages around uh, the wells that we put in and the humanitarian aid that we brought and also maybe even tell him about how you wanted to be a missionary. Yes, since you came past, it has been such a blessing. The ministry directly, the ministry of the word, seminars, nightly services has been such a blessing. The ministry has caused our church in the area to, to grow, and it has kept us over the years um, in togetherness, really. And being for your ministry, personally, us on leadership level could have nested, we could have really never seen success that we see up to this day, but because of your ministry, we are able you know, to, to be stable as a body, to, to keep going on over the years. We see success because of your ministry, and this has been very, very good for me personally, good for us as a community, for, for the people that live around, and the fact that your ministry has really been a blessing, has kept us together as one local Pentecostal church even up to today. So rather than because of this use, becoming divided, we are one and, and uh, the communities. The community directly continues to grow in number in the local church, which we are very, very grateful for. Before you go any further, uh, maybe I'd like you to expound a little bit how we never come to your village to preach, we never come to your village to drill wells. And for many years you prayed and wondered why maybe that we did not come but without saying a word god brought us to your village and uh, so what did that mean yeah over the years we, we have learned one thing to, um, to just wait and uh, that was truly a blessing we were attending the seminars like i said we were being greatly blessed or our people were going every night or every day to the seminars um, we were in need of the wells, uh, and my people were telling me, Pastor, why don't you ask Pastor Norman to, to come over and drill wells? And I said, I'm one person, I don't believe that we should be asking, but you see, we should pray about it, and God in this time will come. But when you came over, really, we were able to benefit a lot from the wells. Um, we were able to work together. We, I can honestly say we were able to put more wells in other areas than, than, than we could have imagined. Um, it, it's just like waiting on God's timing, yes, and God works. We cannot stop giving God the praises for this team, and uh, on this trip, we had, a, we had this opportunity for, through him, through Norman Walker Ministries, that we can have wealth this time. And uh, I, I, I am not sorting the amount of wealth put 18. down. 18 wells. 18, okay. well, well, it was 18 we've put down so far. Okay. And uh, we have 18 wells drilled yesterday and the other day before, but we want to thank the Lord for this amount of wells, which I know uh, the wells is one of the need we had and uh, which will give us now pure water to drink. Before we get to have these wells, we, we use ponds. Some people use drinking water from the creek, the running stream out of the bushes, and which is not safe, which uh, over the years we had like diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, and other sicknesses coming through. And some of our loved ones had parted, they died from us. 
because of this, but through these whales now, I believe we will have pure water to drink. I will have a way of escape from these diseases through, this, through these whales. So we want to say thank you, Brother Norman Walker and your ministry and teams for coming in and helping us a lot in this time of the year because uh, God sent you all here to, to support us and we are thankful. And everybody on the behalf of the community, I must say thanks to the ministry and to all the supporters that send this team across by us. And we know this is not the end, but it's just on our journey all the way too. So I would like to say it is good to be a child of God and to have a testimony to the world of God. He, he is good and He is loving and He is kind, He is providing. And I want to say thank you for listening to me. I love Brother Norman Walker very much. He is my big brother. Yeah. Also, we want to thank uh, in our seminars here, We've had Sister Julie from New York to do the ladies' ministries in the mornings. And then uh, Brother Rick and his son uh, not only have come over here to work with the youth and the teenagers and then with the teacher and the parents and all the children, but also they're doing the videoing and, and the picture taking. All the years, we've been 18 years, we've never had somebody come over to do such a wonderful right, job. Right, right. And that way people can re really see what's happening. And we want to thank you, buddy, for everything that y'all are amen, doing for amen, us. Amen. Uh, it's just wonderful, and I'm glad for you to be a part of this. And then in the afternoons, I'm doing a seminar, and then at night we are, are ministering. Amen. We're leaving here, going back to Calm Water. We're going to drill wells there, and then when we get done, we're going to have seminars and nights, same thing all over that we have here. Amen. Then I'm sending another team Wednesday and Thursday, or Tuesday and Wednesday, to another village called uh, a Bamboo Landing to go and to, uh, uh, eight years ago, before my dad passed away, we drilled 30 wells. We gotta replace all the wells. Man. They're the old hand pumps. We're gonna replace them with all the new ones that Ben Yantis built, all stainless steel. And uh, so they'll have a two day job there. And then we're on our way home. So uh, we thank everybody for being a part. Yeah. Bless you.